Hello, welcome to the video on solving literal equations and formulas. This will be a lesson on this topic, and let's go ahead and take a look at our objectives here. So the first thing I want to do is, is define literal equations and formulas. And then next we're going to understand the process to solve a literal equation and formula for a particular variable. Now two things before we get going. The first is you really already need to know how to uh, solve multi-step equations. And I mean really be comfortable with um, all the inverse operations, distributive property, um, etc. Okay, so if you struggled a little bit with solving equations, you're going to have a tough time here. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't even really recommend watching this lesson until you go back and know how to solve multi-step equations. Okay, which means that you're going to have to know how to solve one-step and two-step equations. But assuming that you feel good about um, your equation solving ability. The second thing is, is your kind of expectations um, as we study this lesson. Now it's just been my experience that a lot of students um, initially find this to be a little bit difficult. Some students know it's not a problem, but a lot of students initially find this to be a little bit difficult because it's a little bit abstract. I'm not, I don't want to scare you away or uh, make this lesson to be more than, than it, it's going to be, but it's, it can be a little bit abstract. Okay, so the thing to do here is just start with the more basic um, examples, okay, and then kind of work your way up. And if you get confused a little bit, you know, revisit the lesson. Okay, so with all that said, let's go ahead and define what a literal equation and formula is. Okay, a literal equation and formula are basically the same thing. Okay, it's essentially a an equation. Okay, where the variables represent a quantity. So we find formulas, for example, all over science and business. So I have an example of one here, that the rate times time equals distance. Okay, so for example, let's say this car here, let's say this guy's going 60 miles per hour, and he travels for one hour. Okay, so using this formula or this equation where the variables represent a quantity, okay, in some sort of uh, physical relationship, I can actually figure this out. So his rate was 60 miles per hour, his time was one hour, and his distance is going to be the product of those two. So 60 times one, it's going to be 60 miles. That's how far he traveled. Okay, so this formula, okay, I can write this as a literal equation as r times t equals d. Okay, that's the formula. Now what if I gave you another problem? I said, I want to know how long it took this, this guy. Okay, he went, let's say, 145 miles, okay, and he was doing, say, 55 miles per hour. How long did it take him? So now I would be interested in time. So to figure that out, I would go ahead and plug this information into my formula. But really what you want to be doing is you want to rewrite this same formula in terms of t, in terms of time, because this is what you want. Okay, this time where we're looking for distance, our first problem, but if I want to use this formula and solve for time, I want to basically solve for the t in this equation. So that would look like this, t equals d over r. Okay, so taking a formula, an equation, and rewriting it in terms of another variable, Okay, as in this case we were solving for D, in this case we're solving for T, is the whole essence of what we're studying in this particular lesson. That's what we mean by solving these literal equations and formula for a given variable. And you can, of course, see the application. Okay? All right, so how do you solve for a given variable in a literal equation or formula? Okay? All right, so here's the steps, and then we'll go ahead and get into some examples. And then, um, of course,